In one of my recent videos, I taught you all how to create a mod pack. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to upload the mod pack to curseworks.com so you could download that mod pack from anywhere and your friends could download it or people on the internet could get it. So the first thing you want to do is click on the second link in the description, which is going to bring you over here to curseworks.com or you could also just open a new tab and search for curseworks.com. Once over here, we're going to actually log in. So you're going to click on the top right corner and click log in here. And you're going to have to either create an account if you don't have one or sign in using like Google, Twitch or Discord, whichever one you choose. In this video, I'm going to use Google. So I'm going to actually Actually log in and then I'll see you after I log in. Now, guys, before we go ahead and continue, big thanks to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. Obviously, when you're trying to create a server, there is no secret. Apex Hosting is the best service to create a Minecraft server on either a Java or a Bedrock server. They actually support over 200 mod packs already. So if you want to play mod packs with friends and you don't want to go through the struggle of creating the server, uploading the mod pack, all of that, let Apex Hosting do that for you. Just click on that first link in the description and you get 25% off if you create a server with them. Something I personally love about Apex Hosting, besides them having locations all around the world, is that you could actually access the server console through your phone, meaning that you'll be away from the house and stuff and still access the console, change the settings, kick people out, whatever you want to do. It is your server after all. Again, first link in the description for 25% off. And now let's keep going with the tutorial. And as soon as you log in, you'll be greeted here with your account. As you can see, it says, hi, it's Cuba. I'm going to continue as it's Cuba. Now in here, you're going to have to confirm and sign in. So go ahead and confirm and sign in. It's asking you, uh, do you allow us to use this information to create your account, etc. Just go ahead and say yes, right? Now, once you're over here, once you have logged in into the curseforce.com website, you're going to click on your profile on the top right and then you're going to click dashboard right here right so you have the dashboard option and then that is going to bring you over here now it is extremely important that you already exported your mod pack the mod pack that you want to upload in here again if you don't know how to create a mod pack we have a video on that as well as some guides in our website on how to create a mod pack but to export the mod pack after you created it just right click on it click export profile and then just uh, play around with the settings in here whatever you need to export and then hit export and you will save your mod pack wherever you want right so just go ahead and save that mod pack and you will have a zip file with your mod pack in it. Once you're over here, anyways, once you have your mod pack already saved or exported and you're over here in the CurseForge page, you're going to click either on projects and you're going to click on view projects or you can click on projects here on the left side, right? So if you don't have it here on your overview, click on projects here on the left side. You'll see this in here. Uh, most likely for most of you, this will be completely empty. Don't worry, that is totally normal. What you're going to do in here is click start a project and that'll bring you over here where you're going to select the game that you're going to be uploading the mod pack for. Make sure you choose the proper Minecraft because you also have Minecraft Bedrock in here. So go ahead and choose Minecraft. If this is a Java mod pack, which I'm assuming most of you will have a Java mod pack, go ahead and choose Minecraft right here on the top left. Now in here, it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is fill in the information. Like for example, the project name, I'm going to name this one. It's Cuba tutorials and then the project image. Now in here, you're going to add the logo. I already had an image for this, which is the logo of the channel. Now the photo has to be at least 400 pixels by 400 pixels. So it has to be a one on one ratio, uh, which means that it has to be a square pretty much. And it has to be at least 400 by 400. You're going to upload that image in here. That's going to be the logo that everybody is going to see once your project goes on online or once the mod pack goes online. Then in the summary in here, this is just pretty much a quick summary about the project. This is not a description that people are going to see when they enter your mod pack. This is the description that they're going to see when they search for your mod pack and they get a, a short description in there. So I'm actually going to put in here. It's Cuba tutorials mod pack for YouTube right in here. You're going to put something that describes your mod pack. Anything less than 256 characters should be good. Now for the class, this is extremely important. You want to choose mod packs in here. So that's going to be the second options. And then for the main category, this is pretty much what the category of your mod pack is. So for example, if you have a, I don't know, a magic mod pack, like for example, I think for our craft or for our craft, we could put adventure and RPG, for example, but maybe it's a skyblock mod pack. You would choose a skyblock and stuff like that. Or maybe it's just a vanilla plus mod pack where you just have a bunch of mods that don't affect the gameplay and then use improve the vanilla game. Then you would choose vanilla plus. In this case, I'm just going to put whatever tech. It doesn't really matter. This is just a mod pack for you guys to learn, right? And then if you think your mod pack doesn't fit into one category, you could click on additional category and choose in here other things that are a little bit more in depth in here, like, I don't know, hardcore, for example, stuff like that. Now here you could allow comments and also let people know if this project is experimental. So if this project is not still completely released, you could go ahead and put experimental. I'm going to leave mine as it is now. Now for the next step, you're actually going to hit next. And then that is going to bring you over here where you are actually going to add that description that people are going to see when they search for your project and they click on it, right? So in here you will add anything that you need to add, uh, all the credits that you need to add, the photos you will add in here for your project. And then once you have added that description in here, let's say that I have to put something right. So I'm going to put it Cuba uh, example mod pack. Once you've done that, go ahead and click next in here. That is going to bring you to the license tab in here, right? As you can see now in here, there's a bunch of different licenses. And honestly, if you're unsure which one to use, I'll just choose the all rights reserve is the one I always use. Or for example, when we uploaded our mod pack, it's Optimus to other platforms. We always use the all rights reserve, right? But if there's any other license that you 
might think it fits your mod pack go ahead and search through them and choose the one that you like there's a lot of guides and stuff on the internet on how to choose a proper license and then for the project distribution in here uh feel free to choose any of these whichever one fits your project the best uh i just choose don't allow distribution to third parties meaning that they cannot download my mod pack from here and post it on some other website i will always keep track of what's happening with my mod pack within curseforge how many downloads it's having and stuff like that because as you can see here any downloads outside of curseforge won't actually give you any monetary benefit so in here i just recommend that you just don't allow distribution to third party that way they will always have to download it through curseforge now just click create and then once we hit create you will be over here in the files tab where we finally are going to upload the mod pack so you're going to click add file and that is going to bring you over here where first you're going to choose a file so obviously choose that zip file for the mod pack which i have here on my recent downloads and then in here you're going to change the display name of the mod pack so this is the name that is going to show when people search for your mod pack so i'm going to name mine it's cuba tutorials and then in here release options i'm going to put mine in i would like to publish this file manually once approved because i don't want this mod pack to go online this is just a testing uh, mod pack for you guys to learn how to upload one but in here obviously if you want this mod pack to go online just click publish this file automatically once approved because it is going to go through a period where curseforge has to approve it so it doesn't go online immediately after you finish uploading it curseforge actually has to check it out and approve it now for the mod loader obviously choose which mod loader you use for creating this mod pack in my case i, I use forge so go ahead and choose that and then for minecraft you're going to choose the minecraft version that you used when created this uh, project or this mod pack in my case it was 1.21 so choose the one that you uh use right now for release type in here you can put this on release which means that this is the final version of the mod pack this is the newest release of the mod pack that's it you can also put it on a beta state or an alpha stage where you know if you have an alpha stage this means this project is done already it's still barely on the, on the foundation or if you put it on beta that means this project is kind of on testing you're testing it out or if you put on release that means that your project is ready it's mean release and it's it's official right and then on the change log here i don't usually add anything especially on my first release but if you're going to be doing more releases or changes to the mod pack you could always add information here on the change log uh there's a preview text in here because in case you type with code in the html style where you add a bunch of modification within text you can see the preview text in here of how it's going to look now here you could also add a related project but i'm not going to add any related project i'm just going to click upload file and that is going to start uploading that file that i just uh, input in here now the next thing is to head over to source here on the top where you could actually determine which source code you use mine i'm just going to leave it as as that because i didn't actually use github or bitbucket or anything and then on images of course in here you will add the images of your mod pack that people will see once they're searching for a mod pack and you know uh the mod pack has an image tab you could add some examples of your mod pack some photos of how the game looks with your mod pack and stuff in here and then if you had anybody else help you with this project you could head over to members in here and then add those members in here and obviously you could change the commission so if you had a partner when you created the mod pack you could go 50 50 or whatever you guys determine right that's completely up to you if you add team members you could add them in here and then the last thing to do in here will be the issues if you want to add in here like common issues with your mod pack and then give them a solution in here this is pretty much the place to do it but i'm gonna leave mine empty and this is pretty much the project if you head back in here you will see that your project has been just submitted and as you can see the status is on new that means that curseforge has to review your project and then eventually either allow your project to go online or deny it if they deny your mod pack don't worry they will actually give you the reasons why they denied your mod pack so they will be like yeah your mod pack um didn't have the proper mods or didn't have the proper description uh, proper name photos whatever uh they will give you the actual reason why they denied your mod pack in here in the notifications don't worry you'll probably also get an email if they denied it so you don't have to worry about that but this is pretty much how you're going to manage your mod pack from now on if your mod pack gets downloads you will see them here in the statistics and obviously you could also see how much money your mod pack makes and stuff if that's something that you really care about which i could tell you from now mod packs don't make that much money guys don't do this because it's gonna make you money do this because you actually love the game and you want to share a mod pack with friends or with the world so that is pretty much how to upload your project to curseforce.com and i hope this video was useful if it was don't forget to subscribe and as always bye bye